Say this out loud. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of the Lord. But how can they hear without a preacher? Let's thank God for our preacher. I want to say this. The last time we, were, we did a gathering for Minneapolis, it was not even in Minneapolis, for all of Minnesota, I said, Lord, they have some of the most incredible prayer warriors I know throughout the state. But you're going to have to send them. And I said this out loud. You're going to have to send them a black prophet that can turn all of this structure that rules here upside down. Let's thank God he heard him. It's a, it's a very anti-Semitic state that really resists a prophetic move of God. It, it, tell somebody it's over. They, they lost that war. <laughs> Amen. Now, you, you can be seated. I uh, told Chad, let me say something else, and then we're just going to do what the Lord said do tonight, and because we've got all day tomorrow, too do certain things. On the way in tonight when I was walking in here, uh, Chad got here, uh, Chad and I got here a little earlier, and we went down to the place that you guys came from, and uh, we parked there first, then came back up here, because I believe there's always a history in the way that we move together, and uh, it was really important to get a feel of what God's doing. The la I think the last time I was up here was right over at w when we had our outside gathering here. And uh, it was uh, a key gathering. And on the way in, after we had prayed some this afternoon, on the way in, uh, walking in here tonight, I met a lady from Lancaster. Where is she? Stand up. There she is. And she stopped me, and she said, I came all the way from Lancaster to hear you say something that I haven't heard you say on the web. That was exactly what she said. And I, so I came in here. And Peter had me do a podcast when I got here. And I came in here, and I said, Lord, I want you to answer that woman's prayer. Now, and I said, and I'm just going to go. I'm going to wait until I see you answer her, her prayer. And when we started praying in tongues and praying in the Spirit, all of a sudden, this, it was a literal angel with a key that fit in the ground, came down and unlocked the ground here. Now, before I go on, and, I, and all I'm going to do is show you, is tell you what he said tonight and tell you what happened once that happened. Because, see, we're in time, but we're not bound by time. And some way or another, you've heard, we've heard the message that we needed. When God first visited me when I was 18 years old, the word he spoke to me was, Joel, out of the book of Joel, I can restore what you've lost. And he said the very thing. He said, you're going to have to step in this and walk it out. I didn't even start breaking through that until about 40 years into it. But I never looked back from the day God met me. So I want you to hear what uh, Joshua is saying to us. You're going to have to walk out 
what God says. And uh, I have watched breakthrough come more and more over these last several years. And then something else happened. You know, I have one promise that, and and we couldn't have kids for 10 years. And my promise from the Lord was, other than that, was if uh, all your children will be taught of the Lord and great will be the peace of your children. Well, I always knew if God was saying that to me, he'd have to give us children. And sooner or later, he would manifest that in the kids that he gave us. Now, I want to tell you, some of you have gone through hard times with children and hard times with uh, raising kids. But I will tell you, God has ways to, un, to do what he needs to do in those children, to fulfill his word over those children. Just stand back and say, sick them, Lord. I, I, don't, I mean, don't. <laughs> and only do what you're supposed to be doing. Now, so when this angel came down, and the ground unlocked, all of a sudden it was a great motion through here. And remember, we're, you, you might feel you're in time right now, but the motion that occurred when the unlocking of that ground occurred is about to take you to somewhere else. And Peter, that that word Joshua was saying uh, was in that moment. See, that seemed like a moment, but we don't ever know how long God's moments are. He, the timing of the way He does things, isn't the way we do things. In the spirit realm, it's totally different. But one of the things he said was, you'll have back-to-back acquisitions. So that word he gave, that is for y'all. And uh, I probably won't share fully what I saw happen with that until Sunday. But get ready, that word is for you. That That was a word from the Lord, and it was for you too. It might be for many of us in here. But it was, it was for you. I wrote it down for you. And see, that's how when we're in a setting like this, and this is what Tricia was talking about, we're not in uh, uh, the same type of gatherings we were in before God pulled us aside and said you can't gather for a while. And that's what I want you to remember. God pulled us aside and said I don't want you gathering for a while. Because you don't know how to gather the way I want you to gather in the future. Therefore, you can go with government, you can go with COVID, you can go with China, and I've been in China since 1980. They got lots of things planned for us. That's all I'm going to say about it. I've written enough about it. They have lots of surprises planned for America in days ahead. But in the midst of this, You're going to have to know when God decides to use what the enemy's doing to set your course for the future. And that's what started happening last March. He started using what the enemy was trying to do to set our course so we will triumph over him. Look at somebody and say, get ready, you're going to triumph. And I, I even yelled out when this angel came down and stood next to me at, because he only said these words to me. He said, get ready for a root ride. Get ready for a root ride. Write it down right now. Get ready for a root ride. He said, a root ride. 
Say it out loud so you get it. Because when God sends an angel down to say it to us, he wants us to get it. He said, get ready for a root ride. And then he took this key, and I can't even explain what that key looked like. It, doesn't, it didn't look like a key the way you think we think keys look. It looked like some divine glory made structure that went into the ground and unlocked it. And then all of a sudden, and I never had I planned to do this. This is her doing this. Because God wanted this done from here. And all of a sudden when that angel unlocked it. Now I want you to understand what happens. And you're going to have to get ready for this. Matter, matter, matter of fact, you might as well stand up. Because there's a root going to come up under you. Might as well just spread your legs a little and say, I'm going to get on this thing. You're going to have to move with me. <laughs> now, and, and all of a sudden, these roots down, and it was here. These roots down deep from this ground, and, I, you know, I've written a history, uh, history book, but that isn't how God does anything with me. But Chad, you're going to have to come up here and get moving with him now. You can get on the piano. I'm, you're going to have to move it. You're going to have to move it with me. Now, all of a sudden, these roots underneath us started moving. And they, the root was a root, but it was made of words. And all of a sudden, it would move. And when it would move up, into the first heaven that we're standing in right now because it, it was down five layers in the earth realm. Now, I didn't plan to do any of this, so don't ask me what it means. That is not my job tonight. My job is just to tell you what's about to come up between your legs and start moving. It's going to catch you or you're going to have to catch it because this thing got unlocked when this end angel came down. I don't even know what the angel's name was. I didn't have even the to ask him, who are you? Because he said, get ready for a root ride. And then he stuck that key from heaven into the ground here. And all of a sudden, the ground moved from five layers down. I'm assuming that is five centuries down. These roots started shifting and coming up, and they had these words on them. And I'll share them in the order because I, once I realized I was in a different realm, I sat down and I wrote the words down. The first word was prosperity. It's a deep root. It's a very deep root here. And the Lord said, I'm going to have to move that root up through because it has been layered over and layered over. And all of a sudden, this root started coming up through all of this layer of debris and blood and all sorts of bone structure and all of a sudden it came out and it went up out up between some of you some of you need to say i want to ride that root out i'm telling you the lord says get ready this thing's about to move out for how 
it has not been able to move in the last five centuries and those who want to grab hold to the root or jump on that root, get ready to jump on it when it comes by you and let it take you where it wants to position you and place you for your future. Here was the next root. It had the word revolution on it. That means, that can mean several things. That means cycle after cycle after cycle is coming into a motion in such a way that it will create another cycle. God said tonight, revolution starts moving. It's a root that is in this ground here. The crossroads of revolution. It came up through the blood of revolution. It had great, these words were in a reddish gold. And it had this incredible, uh, engraved, living, like a heartbeat. And all of a sudden, it penetrated and came out of the ground. And from that moment forward, we are starting to ride that route, starting tonight. Tell somebody, I, I'm afraid to get on that route. If you're afraid to get on the route of revelation, don't get on the route of revelation. Revolution. The Lord says, if you'll get on the route of revolution, I'll give you revelation over how to ride it. It was the third root. The third root said liberation. He said, I am causing the ground that has captured liberation to give up that root, and I will have people who liberate many in days ahead. Some of you are called to be liberators. I know enough in history to know that New Jersey was, gave women right to vote, then took it away. That's what has happened in America over and over and over. Given freedom and take it away. God says the root of liberation is coming out. The fourth word. Was captivity breakout. Captivity breakout. The Lord says years after years, what I intended to come forth was captured. And now I have come to unlock. unlock captivity breakout so every place where I came and my spirit touched this ground and it was captivated again will now come forth and break out in a multiplied form. Tell somebody get ready to ride that route. Now listen people. You've got to see the way this looked. These roots started coming from deep and coming up. And when they hit the atmosphere, it wasn't God's choice. It was our choice to get on it and let it take us where it needed to take us. This is going to be our choice to jump on these next roots that are now coming up to display and move and produce the fruit for this season in our bloodlines and in this nation.
The next route was strange route. It said industrial, creative, remake. Industrial, creative, remake. The Lord says, get ready. From what was I meant to birth from this area that would change the world and how it got covered over, I say get ready. That root of industrial creative remake is now going to burst up through the land again. Some of you say, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do any of this. The Lord says, get on the root. Ride the root. If you'll ride the root, it'll give you new fruit. Say that out loud. If I'll ride the root, it will give me new fruit. Here was the next root. It said divine communication acceleration. The Lord said, what I start doing from the original intent of what I planned in this, and I'm just going to, I'm going to add this, in this 13 colony region is going to create a divine communication acceleration that will overthrow Leviathan in this land. The next route said this, freedom from narrow conformity and solitaire. He said, so many have fallen in isolation, and the enemy has had a plan for isolation, and I say the root that is going to break the power of isolation between sex, between sexes, between groups, between races, that root is getting unlocked tonight. So, this is the only thing I can see. Let me add this as I see, gain some understanding of what I'm seeing. The Lord says some will get on these particular roots and that will be their life call for the future. Some will say, help me on this route. I'm afraid to even climb a tree, therefore I'm really afraid when the root system starts coming up into this atmosphere because I know the root system is going to replant much in me. The Lord says, get ready you are in for a movement you are not even aware of. For I have sent an angelic messenger to unlock the ground that is called that is holding the movement captive and you have gathered in a way that has caused him to come and the unlocking has begun. Now, yes, we'll start hearing of earthquakes. You need to write every place you hear because that means that root structure has jarred loose layers, layers that have tried to cover over the move of God. Get ready. And if you're standing in the midst of one, which I've been in a couple, all you do, get in the doorway and say, let it move. I'm standing right here in the door. I'll move on through the door. 
get ready, a movement happened tonight. Joshua, the Lord says, you get ready. Your life's about to change. I'm going to start moving with you, and that message will accelerate and move. The Lord says you're going to be going beyond even your understanding of the three layers of my word that you have moving through your blood. And there is a fourth layer that will move you in with fire. And from your mouth will be fire, fiery glory that penetrates people. It's going to be as if you'll be standing in groups of people when that fiery glory comes out and they will be transparent. You will see pinpoint through their bodies things that are not working right. And I say, you will call forth that part and that part will form, saith the Lord. The Lord says, get ready. I am moving in a new way starting tonight and you brought me back to the root of this land and i say and from the root i have created a root ride for an entire nation there's three other roots i saw now there might be many that come you know how roots work the next one was divine reversals multiplied. The very thing he was describing from the Word of God, there was a root, and it said divine reversals multiplied is about to break through in people's life. Those who want to ride that root, I say jump on it and ride it to the end. say this next one and then I'm just going to prophesy out of it because I saw it and then I heard it it said divine gatherings to break the power of night hag divine gatherings to break the power of night hag and I would even say to this place, know this, within three years, there will be divine gatherings in this place where people draw in, not by a promotion, but they will hear, because I will dispatch a host that will bring in a host, saith the Lord. And as they bring in this host, this host will begin to say, we are going to come in and where the night hag is controlling entire sections and entire cities the night hag will now have to face off glory swords coming from this place i say to you get ready for divine gatherings to defeat the night hag is now or have now been unlocked don't let me go any further. If you have had in your bloodline fear of the night, I want you to lift your hand right now. And Lord, I say right now, the power that's breaking out of us, we're going to break off night terrors. Night terrors is coming out of our blood. I speak to the night, night hag by the Spirit of God and by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I say, your voice is stopped from torturing God's people. I say there will be a move of forgiveness and freedom from fear in the body of Christ that will cause the church to become a light in the night. Everybody shout a light in the night. The last root said, 
divine release and sending of glory. The Lord says, my glory has been captured in the land. And every time an injustice was occurred, it layered over my glory. And I say to you, now there's been an unlocking. You will hear what captured my glory, and you will hear the divine strategy to reverse that captivity. I say get ready for the root of divine release of glory that will unlock redemptive purposes that have been captured now is moving through the earth realm. There will be a shaking in iniquitous stronghold places, and instead of you seeing strongholds topple, you will see the earth give up the glory that has been captured. Father, we honor you for choosing to come here tonight beyond our present understanding, beyond our present ideas of awakening, beyond our thoughts of states and nations. And Father, you started a movement so deep from the ground that you have longed to see happen. That that movement will now spread and the fruit of it will be seen in nations throughout the world but this nation will see the shaking forth of the loud ladder house glory and greater will be the latter house glory than the former glory. Let's just stand here for a minute. I say that because I saw us losing our footing to regain our footing. When the root that we needed to rise came up, we just had to get on it. Father, we know your thoughts are beyond our thoughts. Your ways are beyond our ways. But we tell you tonight, we're a people ready to ride. We're a people ready to go with where your route that you had planned takes us. We submit ourselves to you here at this place that you determine to form a nation from. Now I want you to see that. He chose this place, the very place we're at right now, for a nation to make a choice to form. And he sent an angel tonight to say, I'm unlocking everything that's been captured, that's kept it from manifesting what it needed to display who I am. Now, Father, we thank you that your roots will extend into Washington, D.C., 
Your roots will even go into the New Jersey State House. Your root will extend back across the Delaware where Washington crossed. Your root will extend back into a place where you gave Hamilton vision. And Father, what couldn't be accomplished, you'll bring it forth in a new way in this season. Father, I make the statement from Joel chapter 2. Your land will rejoice again. Now grab a hold of somebody, agree with them that this land will rejoice again. Now tell them, you can ride this route when you see it, when you feel it, just jump on it and take it till new fruit is coming forth. Shout new fruit from the roof.